Hey everybody, thanks for visiting the Qualys booth. I'm Jason Phillips and I lead web application scanning for external applications across GE. Today I'd like to discuss with you how a company like GE can quickly and effectively utilize Qualys WAS for continuous web operations. We're going to cover how to look at the overall scenario, considerations as you prepare your data, enriching your data for better efficiencies, setting up Qualys WAS, executing scans, reporting to the right people, and how to quickly handle a surge remediation effort. So every scenario is a little different, but before we dive into how we operate, it's important to think through what the problem is that we're trying to solve. So GE is a large company, and we support several business units and have thousands of applications across the enterprise. So we need to be able to trace our applications all the way through the Qualys WAS operations back to specific businesses and application owners. So since our current scope is external applications, we are going to also need to be able to identify which of our applications resolve from external connections. We need, to be, we need to know if an application is directing us to an authentication prompt. And finally, how do our business owners access this data once we run it through Qualys? So as we attempt to find some solutions to these problems, we need to ask a few questions. So does the application resolve from an external connection, or is it just internal? So this is important if you're you know, scoped to just look for external or internal applications. It's also important as you're needing to set up your scans, you're going to have to choose a scanner that's external or internal. From a licensing perspective, it's also important to know if the application is even resolvable. Does the application redirect to a different URL? If it's not part of the same domain, you're going to have to specifically go in and edit the application and add that domain to the record. <coughs> Does the application resolve to only HTTP or HTTPS? Qualys is going to scan for both of these, but this is good information to retain. Does the application require authentication? Do we need to consider allowing our application owners to be able to add an authentication record? Or are we going to need to add a record for, to, cover a global, um, to cover it globally? Lastly, are there any exclusions? If we're scanning a third-party application, we're going to need to acquire permission prior to our scanning. <coughs> we also need to consider an application that we're not going to be able to scan in production, but we're going to have to scan a QA or staging server. <coughs> now that we have a good idea about the problems that we're trying to solve, we need to add to our existing data. We util utilize a simple Python script to collect and enrich the data that we're, that we're retaining for running our operations. With this, we're able to cross-reference our baseline against an exceptions list and exclude or replace the URL, add an application ID for traceability all the way back to our application repository, the original URL found in our baseline, the redirected URL, whether we've detected a login prompt for authentication, the connection status, and the owner or an application owner information. The additional data that we're able to collect now provides answers to most of our questions. So now we can begin setting up Qualys WAS. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to come up with our tagging strategy. And we'll go into some of these a little bit further later. But we'll, we'll be able to segment access into Qualys schedule our scans, create reports, and so on from these tags. For simplicity, we're going to focus on business plus an environment such as EXT for external and INT for internal applications. Once we have our tags created, we can begin importing our business and customers into Qualys. So we've set up two different roles for our default WAS user within the administration module. And this is all based off of the default user template and adjusted to limit access into Qualys as needed. But for the sake of this discussion, the biggest differences between the two, the WAS user role is going to be set up to have read access and allow us to be able to generate reports to applications that share that same tag. The WAS scanner role is a little bit more involved, and it's going to allow our application owners to, to kick off a rescan and add an authentication record to an application. So now that our users are segmented based on tags and have one of our roles that we've created, we can pro proceed with pulling our data into Qualys. We typically have a significant change in our baseline from each month. 
So we rerun our, our Python script every month. We take the monthly extract um, that is in our external scope and we se separate that out by business. The reason is because the import process only allows us two, two attributes, URL and name. So we provide the final redirected as the URL and we, and we provide the application from our um, application repository ID as the name. And this gives us traceability to the application back into our repository. There are other benefits as well to using the name of the application. Because when sending out a report, we can create a report to include the name and not the URL, which is more obscure as we re send reports internally. Another nice feature during import is Qualys Waz detects uh, duplicate applications. Um, and they do this by name, so that we're actually able to upload our, our applications into Qualys, and, and Qualys is actually going to do the heavy lifting and dedupe our list for us. So once all the tags, uh, once all the applications are imported, we get returned a list of applications. If we filter the results to no tags and check the not scan checkbox, we're going to see a list of applications that we have just imported. We can select all of these applications in the list, click the action button, and then that'll allow us to add our uh, tags that we set up previously. So Qualys is introducing in the next few releases um, the ability to be able to add a tag during import, which will alleviate some of the steps that we see today. Another tip to consider during this is that all of your applications can be um, clicked at one time and you can edit them and you can allow Qualys to follow all the links that are found in the robots.txt file and the sitemap.xml file. And this just allows the scanner to uh, know what links to, to expect. We repeat this cycle for all of our customers, and once it's complete, we can leverage the Qualys WAS user interface to schedule our scans and reports and so on. Also, there is a, uh, there is a Qualys API that can be leveraged for further, to further automate this process. But for a program looking to quickly onboard with limited resources, it's fairly easy to proceed manually utilizing the user interface until you're able to build in the necessary automation. So now that everything is set up, we can begin executing our scans. For our operations, we schedule scans. Um, for our operations, we schedule our scans. We, we schedule these based on our tags. Uh, and run our apps on the same schedule. But if you wanted to, you could actually run your scans and apps on a different schedule based by customer since we've separated them out by tags. Um, also, there are two other ways that we scan our applications outside of our normal business operations. Uh, ad hoc scans, for instance. We run an ad hoc scan uh, because we allow our application owners to log back in and if they need to remediate an application or a finding that they found in an application, they're able to go into any of the applications that they have uh, a, a, a tag give, allowing them access to, and they're able to initiate a rescan. Another type of scan that is popular for remediation effort is the retest scan. So when you're looking in Qualys at all your, your detections for a particular application, you can click on, your application owners can click on a, on, a, on a finding, and they're able to click a retest button, which will allow them to, to just retest that application finding uh, and not the entire application itself. So one last point I'd like to make about scanning is authentication. And I'm not going to deep dive into, into this here for the sake of time. But Qualys gives us several options like basic auth, form-based authentication, and script-based authentication with Selenium scripts. So when you create your application, you can apply a default authentication record. Or if you're scheduling a bulk scan, you can schedule a global authentication record. Um, Qualys is also releasing another new feature, um, I think, in the next couple of weeks which is going to allow you to uh, t test your authentication prior to scanning. So you won't have to run through an entire scan to know whether your authentication has failed or not. Tags also to drive how we define and schedule our reports. After a few cycles, you'll get a good idea of how long your scans are going to take. So we can set up our reports to run and send out specific businesses based on the tags according to whatever schedule is needed by that business. We can also run ad hoc reports. Since we set up all of our users to have access to reporting, they can log into Qualys Waz and run a report on any of the applications that they have access to. So this will drastically cut down on the request for information, and it enables our teams across the business to access the data on demand as needed. 
with the exception of a few outliers, this has completely eliminated the need to generate on-demand reports across the company. So just to recap, we're going to take our, our data outside of, uh, out of our application repository. We're going to enrich it with a, a Python script. We're going to import our apps back into Qualys. We're going to execute our scans based on tag, and then we're going to send out our reports also based on tags. So the next thing I'd like to talk to you about is a surge remediation. So you probably guessed by now I'm a pretty big fan of tags. Uh, it comes in handy when you can need to take an action on a subset of applications for a particular surge effort. So I'm not trying to pick on Drupal here, but let's look at the, the latest release of a highly critical remote code execution vulnerability. So Qualys Waz has the ability to detect the version for Drupal during its scan. It also has this for several other open, open source content management systems. But for the sake of this focus, let's just look at Drupal. So we can filter out our data and our applications by QID, which is the Qualys knowledge base ID. Once you've identified whether this is in your baseline, you can tag your applications with a campaign tag, such as like Waz, Drupal, or something like that. And now that we have a list of applications that we can operate against for targeted scans and reporting. So now that we have this list of applications, we need to drive a cadence. And you know this is going to depend on, on, on each business, but we're going to drive a daily cadence and scheduling for our reporting. We execute our scans against the WAS Drupal tag. We added, we added this to our scoped applications, which is drastically reduces the scan time depending on how many applications that you have in your baseline. We can still make this even more efficient because Qualys is going to give us the opportunity to create what's called a search list. If we're, it's, it's a way to look for a specific ID, and we can add that ID to our profile that we're using for scanning, and Qualys is actually going to only scan against that specific ID, which it's going to make our scan even more efficient. So now that we have targeted applications and we've scheduled our, scan, our scans, all we need to do now is create the reporting to run against the same WAS Drupal tag that we created. So when we, when we can even include a tag to specifically send an application, our applications that belong to a particular business. So if we need to segment them out and run a different schedule for, for each business, we're able to do so. so. It's a flexible process and needs to be configured for how you and your, your teams responsible for the remediation um, need to take the, the appropriate action. So just to recap for surge remediation, we're going to create our, our list of applications. We're going to segment them out by tags. Um, we're going to schedule the scans based on that same tag. And then we're going to schedule our reports also using tags.